Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah, this is Analog Resurgence, and today I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how to do long exposures with your Polaroid SX70 cameras. A lot of people love to do long exposures for just different experimental stuff with photography. Now it is a little bit difficult to do it with Polaroid cameras because you don't usually have manual control over exposure settings. But there are ways to kind of trick your camera into doing long exposures if you want to play around with them. First off I'd like to say that sometimes Polaroid cameras can be a little bit uh, glitchy. So if something works for me it might work a little bit differently for you guys. SX70 cameras usually have the best functioning light meters for some of the Polaroid cameras out there and their light meters usually allow them to do already longer than normal exposures and can sometimes clock in at like 30 seconds or a minute. Now the light meter for the camera is this little clear plastic window here and that will judge how much light there is in the scene that you're pointing your camera at and then it will determine the exposure automatically. Now you can also set it up to do a little bit of a longer or shorter exposure based on this compensation dial here which is black and white and will allow you to either over or underexpose your camera by just a little bit. And I can just do that by rotating this wheel all the way to the white side to overexpose and then covering the light meter window. Now you can also use something like black electrical tape to cover this window for longer periods of time instead of holding your finger over it. So first let's put in a pack of film and it will spit out the dark side for us. And now if I try and take a picture while covering the light meter window and having the dial set all the way to bright, then it will actually stay open for a long period of time. So that's one way where you can try and expose it for a longer period than the camera would normally want you to. But another trick in order to be able to take a really long exposure based on however long you want to expose the film for is actually by opening the film door of the SX70 while the camera is taking the picture. This will freeze the camera and turn it off because it's disconnected a circuit that needs to be closed in order for the camera to finish taking the picture and spit out the film. So because there's lots of light in here, I'll do that again by covering the exposure window here and set it up by taking the picture and as soon as I do, I'll pop the film door open. Now, even if I take my finger off the window, the camera won't do anything. And the shutter is open, so during this whole time, the image is being exposed to the light for as long as I want. So these are some exposure samples I was doing with my SX70 camera while shooting outside my window at night. And you can see things like traffic passing and lights streaking and everything. So now that my exposure has gone on for as long as I want it to, all I have to do is close the film door. Now, the SX-70s are a little bit glitchy, like I said, and sometimes if you close the door on certain models, it will immediately spit out the film, and other times when you close the door, it won't do anything, but all you have to do is press the button, and then it will finish spitting out your film. So if I close my door, it hasn't done anything, but all I have to do is press the button, and now my film will eject. And that's pretty much how you do a long exposure on your folding SX-70 models like these ones. So some of you might also have SX-70 one-step models. Now, unfortunately, these ones you can't really easily do long exposures with, but I'll show you a little trick that you can try and experiment with and find a way that might help you out if you are trying to do long exposures using these models. So this is just a sonar one-step model that I have. And if you put in the pack of film, first it will spit out the dark side. But also it doesn't have the ability to do very long exposures. So even if I cover this little exposure dial here, set it all the way to brighten first, and put my finger over the little window and press the button, it will still clock out at about a second. So not really ideal for doing long exposures. Now even if I try the film door trick that works on the folding models, it will still take that picture and try and eject it if I open the door. But it's also hard to do because you have to be very quick. 
See, it even tried to eject my film by pushing it forward a little bit, even though I had already opened the film door. So you can't do long exposures that way either. So the only way to trick the camera to keep the shutter open is by actually turning it off while the shutter is still open. But you can't really do this easily because the camera doesn't have an on off switch and the battery is contained in the package of the film. So the only way that you can really do it is by taking an extra dark side and sliding it into the camera between the pack and the contacts where the battery powers the camera. So this can be a little bit difficult, but you slide it in until you find the spot where the camera turns off. And you might have to do some experimenting. But if we take a camera and push the dark slide in to disconnect the battery, then that will trick the camera into staying open for longer with the shutter. The difficulty comes into play though when you remove this and it will either spit out the image anyways, or it won't do anything. So if I take the slide out now, we'll see what happens. So I can hear that it did make a clicking noise, but it does look like the shutter might still even be open. So it's still exposing while it's doing that. Even if I close the door, it doesn't do anything. And if I press the button, it doesn't do anything. So your problem is that once you've done your long exposure, you don't really have a way of telling the camera to spit the film out. Your option is that you have to have a dark room or a dark bag or some way of handling the camera in the dark. You can even use a jacket or something if you're already in a low light situation doing a long exposure. So the idea would be that as you remove the dark slide, you cover your lens. So even if it's still exposing, then it won't be exposing anything at this point because you finished taking your picture. And then while you're still in the dark, you actually have to slide your cartridge out almost halfway until it breaks the connection fully from the battery to the contacts. And then slide it back in and close the door. That's how you get your long exposure out of your camera if you've taken a picture with a one step. So it's not really ideal, but that's really the only way to kind of trick the camera into doing a long exposure if you have a one step. And it's definitely not as easy as the folding door method that you can use on your SX70 folding models. But if you are trying to experiment with what you can get out of your Polaroid cameras, then don't be afraid to try and experiment with the cameras themselves and see what you can kind of rig up to do different things like these. Thank you guys so much for checking this out and I hope you enjoyed this little exposure trick with Polaroid cameras and maybe just got an idea of how you can utilize it to create something special for yourself. And subscribe if you haven't done so already as I continue to post all sorts of little tips and tricks and history and information and breakdowns on camera formats and all these analog formats every week. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys soon.